Welcome back to Red Raider Weekly. Well, the Lady Raiders improved to 15 and one on the season, the best start since 2004. 2-0 in Big 12 play with another scintillating comfort behind win. This one over the Missouri Tigers here at the United Spirit Arena. Let's take a look at the highlights. We pick things up in the early going. The Lady Raiders down two. Casey Morris dumps it in down low to Kiara Mallard. The junior dribbles into the lane and bounces it off the glass and in. But Mizzou puts a run together. This layup by Shakara Jones was part of an 11-2 Tiger surge in the first four minutes on their way to a nine-point lead, 11-2 Missouri. Tech on defense here. Morris comes up with a loose ball, takes it the length of the floor, and pulls up from the charity stripe for two of the Lady Raiders' 25 points off of Tiger turnovers. Texas Tech with 18 steals on the night. The Lady Raiders shot 60% from beyond the arc in the first half. Here, Tina Wickett drains the long three from the top of the key. The senior with eight points in the contest. Tech within four, 11 to seven. Now the Lady Raiders with their own 11 to two run to tie the game. Monique Smalls dribbles around the perimeter and dishes to a wide open China Brown for the open three from the far corner. Double zero shot six of 11 from the floor for a career high 22 points in the game. But Missouri goes on another run. This long range three pointer by Jasmine Otote gives the Tigers their first double digit lead of the game. Mizzou heads the break with the 38 to 26 lead. Missouri scores the first points of the second half. Jones from 10 and the Tigers take their largest lead of the contest 40 to 26. Brown ties her career high with eight boards. Here she corrals the rebound and we're going the other way. The sophomore pulls up from 18 and knocks it down. The Lady Raiders with 24 points off of the bench. Wicket with a career high six steals on the night. Here she comes up with the theft, pushes it up court to Brown and the Dallas product goes strong to the hoop. A little English off the glass and in. Now more from the defense. Wicket again with a steal at midcourt and the no look pass to Smalls driving to the hoop for the easy lay -in. It's a three point game with just over five to play. Then with 314 to play, we go courtside to Steve Strain. Here comes Smalls, baseline, sideline right, off the screen, left wing out of Brown. China into Mallard, met by Flores, Kiera shoots and scores! Tech's got the lead! Ten made free throws, including six from Brown in the final 50 seconds, seals the deal for the Lady Raiders. A 21-6 run to finish the game, and Texas Tech begins conference play 2-0 for the first time in the Christy Curry era. 63-56 is your Wednesday night final. I just feed off the starters. I mean, with my number is Kyle, it's time for me to go in. I just try to bring as much energy as I can. So really just coming in, being aggressive, and trying to score. I told them that, um, you know, he's really proud for how we finished, but we've got to stop doing this. So, um, you know, maybe we're going to be labeled the comeback kids. But again, I think that we just want to make sure that we do a better job of not putting ourselves in such a position where our back's against the wall. But it says a lot about these kids. Um, you know, I thought the difference in the basketball game, I just want to thank our crowd. Um, I thought when they got into it that, you know, it really gave our kids that extra step, you know, and that extra just ump to get, get to the next play. And so I thought our crowd was the difference down the stretch, and we really thank them because they really, really gave us a boost tonight. Coming up after the break, we'll have highlights and post-game comments from Tech's game against the 12th-ranked Texas Longhorns here at the United Spirit Arena. A little bit later in the show, we'll have highlights from both teams' games against the Kansas State Wildcats. Stick with us here on Red Red Weekly.